In this video, we're going to look at how you can be certified in Oracle Database SQL. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. Having a certification allows you to say that it's not just me who says I have these skills, it's other people who say that I have these skills. This could make you more employable, both in your current employment and if you're looking for future employment. Oracle's exam on this subject is the Oracle Database 23AI SQL Associate Exam, and it's exam number 1Z0171. Now, there is an earlier version called the 1Z0071. This is based on an earlier version of the database. However, the requirements for these two exams are basically the same. So you can see it costs around $250. There are 60 questions and the passing mark is around two thirds. So let's have a look at the topics that you need to have to pass this exam. So if I go down to review exam topics, then you can see that most of the weighting is in four topics. Retrieving data using the SQL select statement and restricting and sorting data. Using functions, displaying data from multiple tables and using DDL to manage tables and their relationship. Between them, they have around 65% of all of the marks in the exam. So let's have a look at those four objectives in more detail. Firstly, retrieving data using the SQL select statement. Well, first of all, you will need to know the six principal clauses of the select statement. Select from where, group by having, and order by. You would need to demonstrate that you know how to use column aliases. I would also suggest you know how to use table aliases as well. How to concatenate, how to add two strings together. How to use literal character strings, including using the alternative quote operator, which is very useful if your literal string has an apostrophe in it. And using the distinct keyword. So you eliminate duplicates without the need of a group by. You also need to know about nulls and using arithmetic expressions. How to use the rules of precedence, so multiply and divide before plus and minus, but brackets or parentheses before all of those. How to limit rows returned in an SQL statement. So that could include using row num and using offset and fetch. Recognize how to use substitution variables with the define and verify commands. So this is how you can ask the end user for their input, what are you looking for? And concepts for sorting data. In functions, you need to be able to manipulate strings, use math with date data, so you can just add one to get the next day. Use round, trunk and mod functions, so you can get to the nearest, for example, whole number or the whole number without any decimal places or mod. So what is the remainder? When you divide, for instance, 10 by 3, the mod of that is 1. How to use date functions, so not just using math, and applying functions which look for nulls. How to convert data, especially using the to chart, to number, and to date conversion functions. Of course, you need to know how to do custom formatting as well how to do more than one function at once or nesting multiple functions and creating groups of data, including restricting them and using group functions. For displaying data from multiple tables, then it's largely the various types of joins. So we're talking inner joins, left, right, cross and full joins. So that's the sure understanding of Cartesian products. But in addition, you need to use self joins, for example, who is my manager? Well, my manager is an employee. I'm an employee, so I need to self-join the employee table to the employee table and use non-equijoins. For example, matching a row with the next seven days in a date table. Going down, we're looking at DDL, data definition language to manage tables and their relationships. So you've got to be able to create tables, work with them, including columns and data types, demonstrate dropping columns and the advantage of using unused, 
truncating tables as opposed to using delete, create and use temporary and external tables, constraints, so we're talking about unique, check, default, primary and foreign keys, and managing views. In addition to those four main objectives, there's also relational database concepts, using subqueries to solve queries, set operators, managing tables using DML statements, including the merge statement, indexes, synonyms, and sequences, user access, and data definition views, and data in different time zones. So once you have gone through all of that, then you will feel confident in going forward and taking the 1Z0171 exam. If you're not, then you might want to consider going to mindhub.com, where for around $130, you can get a practice test. Or go to Amazon, and you can get the official book for around $65, though that price does fluctuate. Now, that is the official book for the previous version, 1Z0071, and it's also the practice test for that version as well. But as I said, it hasn't really changed that much. Alternatively, if you like learning using video courses, then we have created a brand new course on the 1Z0171. So just go to our website, idodata.com, click on SQL and click on 1Z0171. So in around 13 hours, we will go through all of the requirements of the 1Z0171 exam. And if you click the button at the bottom, you will go to this page where you can find more details about it. So you can see about how you will learn each of these topics. And there are plenty of practice activities as you go on. So you can be sure that you're learning. So you will have the instructions for the practice activity and then how I would solve the practice activity. If you're more interested in the previous version of the exam, 1Z0071, then you can join me on our course on that as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will consider entering the 1Z0171 exam. If you did like this video, then please click like and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. In a video on the end screen, you'll see how you can download for free Oracle Database and Oracle SQL Developer so you can use them on your own machine. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.